You, my friends, are the lunatic fringe that makes it all happen. Now, we've gotten the burn, part of the burn, that we're looking for. This is not the end. In fact, this would appear to be just the beginning of the burns. So we got it. Price didn't really respond. I'm going to break down why that didn't respond. By the way, it's going to be my opinion of, of things. And I, I want you to know that I think that we're about to have a big move. Uh, nothing changed fundamentally. There was a difference. Uh, we didn't get what we thought we were going to get when we thought we were going to get it. Motivation was right there. Uh, Chris, Amani, Fleece Cannon, uh, Terraform Labs did what they can to undercut. Now remember, they don't like us. They don't like Terra Luna Classic. They want everybody to give up on Terra Luna Classics and they wanted everybody to move over to Luna. So uh, this was the ultimate of disrespect, in my opinion, for the community. And look, and we shouldn't even be talking to these people at this point because they're the bad actors. We know that. We know that by the courts. We know that by their actions. We know that by everything. And if we're communicating with them, we really shouldn't be. Now, you may not like that. You may not like that I'm saying that. And that's okay because, you know, that's what freedom is all about. We have the freedom on the blockchain to have opinions, uh, share like-minded opinions or differing-minded opinions. And then we just move on. So let me break all this down for you so that you know what's going on in Luna Classic for the day. Make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Subscribe to the channel if you like me. If you don't like me, subscribe to the channel just so you can talk shit about me in the comment section down below. It's right down there. Just make a comment. Tell me what an asshole you think. All right, guys, before we get started, uh, a couple days ago, Terra Casino gave away $2.5 million to one person. I can't believe that you're not signed up. There's a link in the description down below. You can potentially win some money. The first of the Olympians is available right now. Then you have $2 million in euros uh, giving, uh, being given away from now until December 22nd. Um, and, and, you know, gave away $5,000 just the other day. Like, there's so much going on in this ecosystem. And if you go down here, you can see, like, each one of these times, uh, this guy's betting a little bit higher with two bucks every single time but you can see here there's 80 cents being done 20 cents being done there's a bunch of different um wagers that are happening small amounts all you have to do is go in there and take a shot uh and and just play the game a little bit uh and you could potentially win so check out terra casino today on to the news. Terraform Labs burned 251 billion. Luna Classic, does that mean that a rally is going to commence? Now, the rally did happen, and we did get about a 3% lift off of it, but here's the problem. We had dumped 10% before that, so that creates a conundrum, if you will. I'm going to show you on the chart in just a moment uh, what happened here, and do we continue to rally? Do we start the, the, the big process? Well, it's not that complicated, but it's also not that easy. I'm going to show you right now. But before we do, uh, let's talk about Commonwealth real quick. Vegas is putting up a request, direct request to CoinMarketCap for access to the Terra Classic dashboards uh, and then the proposal for official CMC links. Um, you know, just kind of having it out here, trying to figure out the best path forward. Currently, companies like CoinMarketCap only process change requests through the official channels of the legal entity holding the relevant agreement, which is that Terraform Labs will no longer be in operation. So uh, they're going to request a proposal to have CoinMarketCap adopt support at all nodes. It'll be through governance uh, so that people don't cry, as people do, uh, about the, the process and, and stuff like that. How dare you update uh, incorrect information to correct information without everybody having a vote? It really, guys, it seems seems like nonsense at, 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 at many on many different levels here, which is why a steering committee is going to be so necessary for this thing to move forward. It really is. Um, you might not like that, by the way, and you're entitled to your opinion. You've been wrong before. You've watched all these other channels instead of me for some period of time, so obviously you make mistakes. Anyway, hit that like button. So, um... Vote how you want when that comes up for governance. As far as meme coins go, meme coins still just kind of suppressed a little bit because Luna Classic has been suppressed a little bit now for price action. So uh, we're at 84.71 right now. Broke out of that channel. Now, when you look at it from the context of where I'm looking at it right now, then you can kind of make out this line and say, well, you know, it doesn't look like that, right? Um, we've completed these moves down, 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 then we got a reversal here, we got a reversal here. So it would look like, generally speaking, that we're on our way back up and that we're gonna see some, some positive price action. Problem with that is that what we should have seen was that price action towards the end of the month right here. And when it didn't happen, when it was supposed to happen, when Terraform Lab said they were going to do it, um, right there, 
uh, when it didn't happen, uh, investors decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to move on from this for a little while and and see what happens. And they missed the move. They, they missed the move uh, of the burn. Now, had that burn happened when it was supposed to, there was FOMO building up for this to happen. Would have taken us up here into three zeros 12. And I'm telling you right now, this is the only spike in volume uh, when you look at this node. So that's what that's what the move would have been. Um, and, and by the way, look, this only affects people who were looking to sell anyway. So I'm not really concerned about it, but I like to see positive price action because it moves the charts. It makes, fee makes people feel better. And we know how you cry about your feels. You know what I mean? If things don't do what you want them to do. So uh, then that would have caused, hopefully, a move back in here to fulfill this sort of um, ray that, I, that I've got kind of running here with this top, this top, this top, and then one more top right over here at around three zeros two. And then from there, that's where we would focus on like a breakout, right? Now, why is it not happening? Well, the reason for that, very, very simple. U.S. elections. The U.S. elections are on tap for today and the FOMC is on tap for two days from now. So what you're going to see today is you're going to find out who the president is. And by the way, just so you guys understand, uh, a lot of people, um, cult members on both sides will tell you that there's going to be a collapse one way or another, no matter what happens. Nobody gives a shit about that. That's, that's the, 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 those are idiots that are telling you that. Okay. If you've got somebody on X or you've got somebody out there telling you that you have to vote for one candidate because otherwise it's going to collapse everything, that person's an idiot. Okay, uh, they're in a cult and don't follow cult members. However, in the event that you decide to vote for either one of these candidates, rest assured, the market doesn't care. If the market cared what these people think, then we'd already be dead, right? Because we got what we didn't want, which was a president in 2020 that, um, that, that, that nobody wanted except majority of people like it's 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 crazy that these people think this right and then we got a bull run we got a bull run under the previous president or the current president so it doesn't matter who the president is the market cares about one thing clarity they don't care about who the president is they care about being able to go to their website see their policies and then make their bets money bets on what they think this person is going to do in terms of policy that's all that matters okay so don't get caught in a cult ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.Finance was $3.7 billion, according to the British government. Today, that value, $6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 billion in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then Cryptonomy Telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter, uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using Cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today, we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that. But the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57x average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5X with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're gonna create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between one and 5X when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for Protonomy.finance today. Now, that being said, it would be better if one candidate won over the other candidate because he has come out pro crypto a lot more than the other one who said that they want to find a path forward for digital assets. So once we have clarity on that, then the market will start to correct. And let me show you just an example of this. This is 2016 
And this is where the current president was elected. What happened in that period of time? Let me just kind of zoom here so you can see it. What happened in that day was we had a nice little green candle. And then within two days, once we got clarity that this, you know, that there was a, a little controversy, of course, there always is with one of the candidates. Um, but as soon as we got clarity that it, the, the results were official, boom, the market started to explode because that means that the bull run was on. Now, why was that happening in that situation if that, if that group of people are so bad? Well, because that's a lie. Uh, what what did happen is people just want certainty on what the policy is. They don't care who's in charge. Okay, it's simple, very very simple. Don't fall for idiot. Now um, that means that there will be another big move coming for Bitcoin, and then thus that would mean us as well. So if we just were to kind of zoom in here on Bitcoin and look at the chart here, you can see that we're just kind of right here, uh, just kind of making our way up this this sort of realm. So. You know, if you just kind of consider here over the next couple of days, $90,000 is within reach. So what I would suspect to see is the same thing that happened uh, back over here. In fact, if I were to just kind of, um, you know, bars pattern this whole thing and then move it over. By the way, not an exact science, just not an exact science, just so you guys know. Uh, but if I were to kind of drop this in right here, then guess what you see right here? You see this, the, the market, if it does what it's going to do. And by the way, when I zoom back in, remember that line I just made? Yeah, so it tells me that somewhere around the end of December, we're going to be whipping into that line. But here it goes right about right there because that's the day. That's the day of the election right here. So this is what it would look like, right? And, and by the way, if you notice that trend line right there, we would test it a couple times right here. So what we're saying here is basically in the next two weeks that we're probably going to be sitting at around 80,000. And then it's going to pop up here over into the 90,000, 95,000 range. By the way, if you follow me, you know 95,000 is my new target, not 90,000. Uh, and, and then boom, it's going to break out. And then we're going on this run right here up the 260, 270. This is the way it's going to happen, no matter what. Okay, now, uh, it could be just a little bit worse because um, uh, of, you know, I, I, the, whoever the president is might affect that outcome just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now, um, that being said, what would that look like for Luna Classic if that were the case? Well, we don't have a target really of you know what the idea is of where we would go from that. But here's what we can say. If I were to take uh, this move, right? I'm going to take a move here, an impulse move basically. And I'm going to look at this impulse move. And I'm going to move this impulse move right over here. And guess what? Do you notice how it plays out? It's the same, it's the same kind of impulse move that happened right there. Okay, so if we have an impulse move right here, guess what? Uh, it does exactly what I keep telling you guys it's going to do. Uh, that impulse move by the end of this year could be one of these just enormous playouts, right? We, we look at this kind of right here and then boom, where does it wick out? Exactly where I told you it was going to go. So this is most likely what we're about to see, okay? Uh, and by the way, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a predictor or anything like that. I, you know, I've been right quite a bit. I've been wrong too. You know, I thought we were going to pump a lot more than we did, you know, to, in full disclosure. Um, be, but I didn't know that we were going to get scammed by Terraform Labs one last time and they weren't going to do it on time. You know, I didn't know all those little pieces, but, you know, here we are. So let's figure out uh, the path forward. Now, as far as volume goes, down 38% to 13 million, which means that it didn't catch on uh, with the the um, Asian investors, which is what you're looking for, right? Same thing over here, down 10% on the day, uh, but we're up just a tiny bit. And when you look at it overall, you're, you're not... You're not depressed about the position. You just, you, you thought there would be just a little bit more. Now, when you look at the volume here, circulating supply is down. Total supply is down. Uh, so total circulating is down uh, uh, or total supply is down. Circulating is down. We're starting to see some progress and that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see progress and we are seeing that progress. So now the question is what happens next? Now, once we get certainty in the market, uh, we're going to see about a 40% run, it is my opinion. We're going to see about 40, maybe a 50% pump immediately over the next like three weeks or so. And that's not a lot, by the way, because if I, you know, I give you this number and I say that's what's going to happen, uh, you know, you're looking at that and that only comes up to right about where I said we were going to be a couple days ago, which is around 3 zeros 12. What we need to do is catch a little bit of fire. So the way that that's going to happen is this. There's supposed to be ceramic coming up with a um, a burn protocol that we should see in about two or three days. Now, once that's done, then we'll have a better idea of what's going to happen going forward. Because the question would be, well, how do we like the proposal? How do we? What does that look like? You know, does it does it um, th does it feel good? And if it does, then this market will absolutely send. So uh, let me know what you think, by the way, in the comments down below about that. Now, to move on here, uh, Terra uh, Terra Money. Nothing hasn't done anything. Uh, when I come over here, Vegas trading uh, uh, 
showing the, the Luna Classic burns that have been happening over here. 388 billion is the lifetime burn at this point. 388 billion. Uh, it, it, that's exactly what we're looking for. Look, there's going to be some more wallets that are going to be burned over the next little while. We're going to see more uh, of this happening. We're going to see Luna burning. We're going to see Lunk burning. We're going to see USTC burning. Remember, we still have that LFG wallet with 1.8 billion. And if we come to Lunk Dash and we look at the top holders over here, and uh, we've, we've burned that one wallet right there. Now, I don't know what these other wallets are. Some of them could be part of uh, a larger burn, but let's go over here. LFG still holds 1.8 billion. Now, they are blacklisted, and Terraform Labs still has 290 million. Uh, so there are still burns to come. Okay, uh, we're not done yet. So uh, I, I do think that we're about to have uh, some more significant burns. So you know, this is the spot where you layer yourself in and get yourself into position for another gigantic burn because you know we got 264 over here, uh, but we got another wallet with 251. And then we've got this one right here of 251 billion. Um, more is coming. So uh, that being said, don't forget, Rocket is doing its part to bring back Terra Classic where it belongs. Uh, go play Rocket Defense. Uh, the new season has started. Check it out. Uh, you're not going to beat me. Uh, so you know, you're basically playing for second place right now because I'm the best tower defense person on the planet. You've never beaten anybody like me. Uh, ever, ever, ever. No, not ever. I'm just kidding. you will probably kick my butt. But I like playing it. So uh, also... Terraport, if you're looking to trade meme coins, if you're looking for a place to go uh, for for trading meme coins, this is the place to go. Terraport.finance has everything that you need. Uh, you can trade the meme coins. Uh, you can earn by staking. You can uh, farm. Uh, you can do liquid staking. And remember, I'm on this 14-day 14 uh, 14-day process now. Uh, the launch pad says that I have... 7,466 Terra. So I'm still missing 2,533. Yeah, that's right. I didn't buy any more yet. I will. I'm, I'm going to just chill out. Quit pamp that shit down. I'm going to buy some more. But uh, we're going to start getting ourselves some of these. Um, uh, we're going to start winning uh, over the next bunch of days for the Selenium. See how much we can get. And we're going to be excited about that launch. By the way, if you want to, you can come over here and then you can check out the white paper and you will know exactly what's going on over there. So that is your update for the day. I would expect that over the next 48 hours, we'll see the start of a significant pump. Anything that you see at this point taking us up to four zeros, uh, three zeros, one, anything you see up to that point is just the natural movement of the market, in my opinion. It's the breakout that we're looking. And there's going to be a big breakout, I think, coming very, very soon. We didn't get it when we thought we were going to get it because, you know, it was, it was just, it was lined up. It Maybe it was all too perfect, uh, but it was all lined up for the 31st. We didn't get the breakout. So now um, uh, people are going to have to find that breakout and they're not going to do it until they have certainty after the election. And then it's going to be go time and people are going to find this blockchain. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.